Pat Murphy in his first year here with Craig Council no longer at the helm of this Brewers team. He has done a spectacular job with this club. But he took over and they haven't lost a beat. They, it, everyone you said at the beginning, nobody thought the Brewers would run away with this division. They have a double digit lead. They're going for the best record in the National League. And Murph will talk baseball. He'll talk your ear off if you let him. You got your first taste of him today. <laughs> yeah. He will talk about anything and everything is baseball. The thing about Cruz, if he gets three innings, David Bell would be ecstatic. He, he's got to get three innings, Fernando. If he does that, David Bell sets him up good for the rest of the, the, the other six innings they're going to have to cover. But he's a fastball guy, heavy split. Bryce Terang to lead things off for the crew against Cruz. High chopper to short. De La Cruz has got an absolute hose. Gets it there in plenty of time for out number one. Jackson Chirillo coming up next. He has been fun to watch bursting onto the scene this year. Grounds one through the right side into right field for a base hit. So aboard with one down here in the inning. First hit of the night for Milwaukee. William Contreras standing in. They off pitch. And that's in there for strike three. Gets him looking for strike out of the night for Cruz. A little slider cutter. Didn't do a whole lot. It's a very small break. I think Contreras thought that might have been outside, but just a really good pitch there by Cruz. Now Jake Bowers, the batter, with a runner at second and two away. Swing and a miss. Off balance cut, and he strikes him out. Back to back K's for Cruz. It's out of a jam. Ricky Montas, who, oddly enough, was the opening day starter for the Cincinnati Reds, pitching against them tonight as a Milwaukee Brewer. Frankie Montas, the Reds brought in to, to be an anchor for him. To, in the middle of their rotation, the top of their rotation with some of the young guys, they've had a lot of injuries. Montas eventually being traded. Ellie De La Cruz will make his way to the plate. 266, 22 homers, 61 runs batted in. De La Cruz sends one to shallow left. Torrio coming in, but going out is Adamas. And actually, that's going to be Joey Ortiz. Going out there to grab that one, the third baseman. Riedel's been scuffling a little bit. Was on base with a couple of walks during the doubleheader yesterday. Line to left center and in for a base hit for Friedel. Two out knock here in the first inning. Down fastball. Friedel just goes down and gets it with two strikes. It's a nice piece of hit. Pops it up into shallow left. Chirillo running in on a slant towards the line. Will make the catch. It ends the inning. No score, Reds and Brewers. Willie Adamas leads things off here to the second inning. Adamas on the first pitch. Off of or underneath of Ellie Dela Cruz's glove. Appeared to get glove on it. But Adamas will reach at first base. It's an E6. Yes, he makes errors, but he also gets to more balls than most players do. It happens. It happens to the big leaguers. They just make mistakes. He just missed it. Like Perkins now, the center fielder. That is strike three. Able to get Perkins looking in the third strikeout for Fernando Cruz. Hoskins is aboard, two on with one out. And the red hot Garrett Mitchell coming to the plate. Tried to hold up, could not, goes around and strikes out. Strikeout number four for Cruz. Two down in the inning. Joey Ortiz is the batter. And that's in there for strike three. That's 42 pitches. And it's strikeout number five for Cruz. Buck Farmer out of the bullpen. He takes over for Fernando Cruz. Farmer coming on for the 51st time. No score in this one. Jackson Churio, who's got the lone hit, coming to the plate. Lined into the gap in left center. Change that. Jackson Churio. Right in between the left fielder and the center fielder all the way to the wall. And Jurio easily into second base standing up. There is a one out double and he's two for two. There goes the runner for third on ball four outside throw to third not in time. It's a steal by Jurio on a walk to Contreras. And now the Brewers have runners at first and third base and there's two down and Willie Adamas coming to the plate and you are not even near getting out of the woods with this fella coming to the dish. He is a Reds killer. And Adamas jolts this one to deep right center field. Friedel going back at the wall. That ball's gone. A three-run home run for Willie Adamas. His 27th of the year, and the Brewers jump out to a 3-0 lead. Another three-run home run, Willie Adamas. He's a machine. He gets a fastball out over the plate. Mislocation. You see Luke Maley reach out across the plate. Smashes this ball to right center field. Friedel ran out of room. And that's why you're not quite out of the woods when Adamas comes to the plate. A two strike base hit for Noel Di Marte. And he is a leadoff base runner for the Reds to begin this third. And that brings up the number nine batter, Luke Maley. Line to center field and a base hit for Maley. 
Going first to third is Marte. He'll get there with a head first dive into the bag. And the Reds try to answer here in the bottom of the third inning. They've got runners at the corners and nobody out. Steer ground ball and a broken bat to short. At third, fielded by Ortiz. The runner doesn't break home. Ortiz throws to second one. Now to first for two. And again, the runner, for whatever reason, did not come home and score. Well, that, he's still that's, there. that's the part of raising youngsters whether you're a parent or whether you're a coach at the big league level, they kind of mirror each other. You've got to help these kids figure out how to be great. Lee De La Cruz will try to get that run in. It's a fly ball shallow center that has Perkins coming in to make the catch. Brewers, courtesy of a Willie Adamas three-run blast. Stop me if you've heard that one, Lane Grindle. They're up 3 nothing. William Contreras batting with nobody on. Here two in Milwaukee. And a line drive caught by De La Cruz. Lays out and makes the grab. That looked like a sure hit and maybe extra bases toward left center. And Elias step and a dive using his 6'5 frame to take a hit and possible extra bases away from Contreras. Two away for Jake Bowers. Swing and a miss. Third time. Bowers down by way of the K. And Will Benson walks for the second time. Huntas has walked the same batter twice. The only two walks that he has handed out. And the Reds have a base runner for Noel V. Marte. Up the middle, Adamas flips from the backhand and pulls Terang off the bag. Benson reach at second and Marte at first. Well, I don't know how Adamas even got to it. That looked like it was ticketed for center field. And Adamas grabbing it out of his glove with his throwing hand backhanded, but way off the mark. And now second and third. And Spencer Sear standing in. There's a liner in the left field of base hit. From third comes Benson, he'll score. Here comes Marte, here comes the throw. He will be safe. Two runs in for Cincinnati, and it's a one-run game. A two-run single for Spencer Steer to get the Reds on the board. RBIs 84 and 85 for the Reds left fielder. That one is sent back to the pitcher, painfully so, and that will end the inning. Matas to first. The leadoff man aboard here in the sixth, and Blake Perkins coming to the plate. To right center field, and this could be trouble. It's a gapper. One hops up and over the rule book double, and it'll be second and third with nobody out here in the sixth inning as the Brewers try to answer. Nice swing by Blake Perkins. Little change up. That's up. That ball's up. Perkins smashes it into right center for a ground rule double. Second and third, one out, and Garrett Mitchell's the batter. Chopped. De La Cruz going to first. Run will score. So in from third comes Adamas and the Brewers get another run take a 4 2 lead the Reds are down by a pair. It is 4 to 2 Milwaukee runner on at first with one out. So here's Rosario 0 for 2 high drive deep left field when it comes down this game's going to be tied two run shot for Ahmed Rosario Ahmed Rosario ties it up with an absolute bomb. A laser to left, just his third home run of the year, but it ties this game up at four. He just showed a good cutter that he's thrown. That was not a good cutter. I love Contreras' reaction. Watch him behind the plate. As soon as this ball's hit, watch him just put his head down like, oh, no. It's up to LV Marte. Marte's two for two. High fly ball, deep center field. Perkins going back. Marte, that'll be caught. Blake Perkins climbs the wall, makes the catch, and runs. Marte. Blake Perkins with one of the catches of the air. Not one person in this ballpark thought he had a shot off the bat, except for Blake Perkins. Exceptional. Now the Brewers with runners at first and second base. Two on with two out. And Willie Adamas batting the three-point king, as we've been joking. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. The gas at 99. 99, top of the zone. Get out of here. Runners now at first and second, and nobody out. And here's Ellie De La Cruz. That will drop in there for strike three. It was the curveball again, and it's out number one of the seven. How's that? Got him on three pitches. On the ground, right side. Terang to second for one, on to first. It's close, and it's not in time. He beat it out. That is close. Wow. I don't know. They did not challenge. Here's Ty France. Two out opportunity for the Rams to take the lead here. Late on the swing and he struck him out. Second strikeout for Ashby wraps up the inning. We are tied at four as we head to the top of the ninth inning. Justin Wilson takes over on the mound for Cincinnati. Curio two for three with a walk tonight. 
fly ball deep right field. Torrio will take it out of the yard to put the Brewers on top. Five to four in the ninth inning. Bye bye baseball. Action Jackson, his 17th of the season. Just an absolutely great at bat. Fell behind in the count, worked his way back, and then he gets this pitch. It's not a bad pitch. That ball is probably up out of the strike zone. The Reds are down a run. Devin Williams has pitched 12 no hit innings against the Reds with 24 strikeouts dating back to late September 2022. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Marte for the first out of the ninth inning. After you see that nasty changeup, and then he rushes 95 plus upstairs, it is just hard to lay off. It is Stevenson pinch hitting for Luke Maley here in the ninth. Nobody on, one man out. That is ball four and a one out walk. Tyler Stevenson works the walk, and now Spencer Steer. A one two pitch. That will drop in for strike three. The changeup. And it's out number two of the ninth inning, and Steer's going to say some stuff to Clint Von Drack on the way by. Well, the Brewers fans have the guy on the mound they want. Reds fans have the guy they want at the plate. It gets to the backstop on ball four. Two walks in the inning for Williams. Tying run into scoring position now for the Reds. Hits him. Changeup hits him to load the bases. And the Reds, without a hit, have loaded the bases here in the ninth inning and now tying run at third the winning run at second Ty France the batter he's been good with runners in scoring position this year too, a 290 average in those scenarios on the ground diving at first is Bowers he'll get to the bag and the Brewers hold on to win Cheerio with the go ahead home run in the ninth Williams strands the bases loaded in the bottom half and the Brewers have won the series here in Cincinnati taking the first three games at Great American Ballpark.